Hey everybody, this is Andrew McCauley from Autopilot Your Business with your weekly review. Now this week I'm gonna talk about Gmail, Gmail and LinkedIn. So first thing I wanna talk about, there is a new company out there called Streak. Streak has just launched an application or a free Chrome browser that lets you know when somebody has opened your emails. So this is a Chrome browser that plugs in with Gmail and when you send off an email, it tells you when somebody has opened it. It tells you who's opened it and it also tells you where they opened it. It gives you a map and says this person opened it in this city. So no more of that I never saw your email stuff. We know when you opened it. Now there are of course some other email extensions out there like banana tag but it doesn't track the information like it does uh, on streak. So if you're thinking about tracking people it's almost like stalking, but if you think about tracking them and you want to just make sure that your message is getting out to the right people, then that is a very good free service that they're using right now. Still on Gmail, I'm going to switch to the other side of that equation. Gmail have just said that they are now going to be sticking unsubscribe buttons in the top of emails. Whoa, what does that mean? So if you're a marketer or you're a business, and you're sending emails out and it looks like it's a marketing email, Gmail are going to stick an unsubscribe button up near your name and address up the top. So it's not just enough to have an unsubscribe button on the bottom, Gmail are now making it harder, or Google making it harder for marketers to get their message out because these unsubscribe buttons are gonna be prominent and I dare say people will be pushing them more than they already do. What does that mean for email? Who knows? We'll come up with some answers for you very soon. The final thing I want to talk about that come across our desk is the LinkedIn long form publishing. Now, what does this mean? Uh, currently, there are influencers on LinkedIn who can give you a almost like a blog post style report. At the moment, most users can only give you a short little status update sort of thing. But now what LinkedIn are doing, they're rolling it out to everybody so you can actually perform, you can provide long form content for um, your followers on LinkedIn. Almost like doing a blog post, you can put that same amount of information inside a LinkedIn post now as well. You'll know that you've got this service, so when you go into your share button on the home page, you go to share something, a little pencil will pop up and you can write your long form information there. Of course, you can put links and stuff in there as well. All right, so they're the three things that have come across our desk this week. Make your week an amazing one. We'll see you soon.